I'm going to change the lighting. The lighting's terrible in here, isn't it? No. Over here. Where are we at? Hang on a minute. Where's the tent? These lights are not terrible. Uh, go for it, girl. Too dark? Too dark. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on, everybody. I'm coming, I'm coming. Is that a better light? Yeah, yeah. Is that better? Oh, it's better. Can I turn these lights off then? No. Shut up. We're busy. We're pumping. That's better. Let's see. We've got them comments that have come already. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right then. Where are we at? Let's have a look. Judas Salad Saludos desde los what? I'm not, I'm not Spanish, Mike. <laughs> if that is Spanish. Oh come on, you faggot. You're fragging out that already. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> That'll improve your, your, your tactics. All right, Jay. Hope you're all good. What's everyone been up to? Kieran zero zero zero. Hello, Kieran. But Have I ever hit 108 on that dartboard? No, but my dad does it daily. Go on, show him, Dad. Get out there, show him. Yeah. What, do you want to go? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Week's been pretty good. Um, Monday, it was me and you, weren't I? Yeah. Me and you. Tuesday, it was me. Wednesday, it was me and Frank. Thursday, it was me, Amy and Frank. Trail belts. Uh, they don't sell them anymore, I'm afraid. When's my dad back? When are you back on the tools, Dad? Next Friday. Never. He's useless. Too old. There we go. <laughs> How are you finding domestic building? Slow. Um... Mm, well, on the house at the minute, we haven't got a forklift. We've got all the materials there, but no forklift just to chuck them straight up on the scaffold, which is a pain in the ass. Um, Kieran's supposed to get a crane in just to lift them all up for the day, but we'll see what happens. David Cow, Cowie, Cow. Hi, Charlie. Apprentice Learning in Orkney Islands College. Keep it up, mate. How much you got booked in for next year? Um, my own work. I've had a few people get in contact with me about a few um, bungalows. Um, I might have a house to do in Wales. I'm just debating what's going to be best for me to do. If I do the one near Wales, then I'll probably be staying out there. But yeah, I've been offered some bungalows near where I live. So, but it won't be, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, uh, where are we at? That is so annoying. <laughs> Who wants to see a boxing match? Amy's blowing up my boxing glove, look. Inflatable boxing gloves. Me and my dad's going to have a boxing match. Who wants to watch it? Got me helmet. Is that... Uh, are you on questioning thingy, Bobby? Yeah. in front of the world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to live Q&A boxing. <laughs> Fucking hell, get it off. Kidding, mate. I ain't got me boxing gloves on yet. What's me dad do for a living? 
Uh, he lives life. That's what he does for a living. Yes. Huh? Just live your, you live your life. <laughs> Working for people with nothing else better to do with their lives. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> How many you got watching? <clears throat> Um, 292 people. Jesus. Uh, hello from Russia. Can't pronounce your name, but hello. I can't remember where about it's, it's near Wales. I can't remember. Probably be south west. South it. No, I don't know. I ain't got a clue. Does Vidania? <laughs> Dave, Dave, <laughs> I've seen you fight, Charlie. My money's on your dad. Say <laughs> so Dozvedania to your uh, Russian Do fella. Dozvedania. Dozvedania. What's that mean? Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, it could have been like <laughs> wanker or something. Hang on a minute. He, yeah, he's a dosser, basically, yeah. Good, yeah, I'm Josh, you know, you know, Josh, you know, he's a dosser. Semi retired dosser. <laughs> I've done my bit for Britain. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. Fuck all. <clears throat> oh, uh, hip. Hi, Charlie, mate. Do you have a W Rose trowel? If so, where did you get it from? And would you recommend one? Yeah, I do have a W Rose. I've had quite a few W Roses, but. My mates tend to nick them when I work with them because they know I own a lot of trails. So, yeah, I, I do rate W Rose trails very highly. Um, they sell nine inch W Rose trails as well. So, get yourself on one of them if you can. Tell your dad hello from me. What a legend, Ryan Wood. Oh. Ryan, Ryan Wood says, you, says you're a bell end. Uh, a legend, a legend, a legend, a legend. Ryan. Sorry. Huh? <laughs> You're gonna put your helmet on and start battering me, are you? Yeah. <laughs> so you gonna get me with your helmet? Another glove, Oh, I've seen something about Ant. I think. Hang on. AJ or Fury? Fury, hundred percent. Right. I've lot of. So I'm completely lost where I am on the comments. What do you think about ground workers? It's just the same as any other trade. You get good ground workers, bad ground workers. It's like most trades, they're just... A lot of them will be like, uh, the brickies will get over it, but then you've got bad brick layers and there are oh, the chippies will get over it. It's, that's why I'd like to go into doing it all on my own because then you're in control of everything then, aren't you? But I don't rate, I don't rate trades. I just, it's just the people that are in the trade really, isn't it? I love the videos, keep them calm. What made you become a bricklayer? I had nothing better to do. Are you posing? Are you pouting? Stop pouting, Dad. <laughs> Can we have Joker's Corner for two minutes? Joker's Corner? Who wants to hear a joke from my dad? No, no one wants to see it, hear a joke from you, Dad. <laughs> Jack Brumby, have you seen Jack? Charles Brickwork on YouTube. No, I'll have a look. Dazza the Stripper. Hi, Dad. Hi, Charlie, mate. Start bricklaying college in September. Have you got any tips to make my work tidier? Yeah, just keep practicing, mate. You get better with time. Once you're good enough, you start becoming rougher because <laughs> you know what you can get away with. Dad jokes. Come on, Dad. Give a joke. This fellow walks into a, a baker's shop and he's seen this sign. It said, 10 pence cheese roll, 20 pence 
ham roll, ten pound a wank. <laughs> so the guy looks at the young lady behind the counter and said, "Do you do the wanking?" She said, "Yeah." He said, "Well, wash your hands. I want a cheese roll." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! What do you reckon? <laughs> Same again next week. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Uh. I thought that was good. <laughs> <laughs> he says you've got a good head of hair that's about it he's going to come after you with them boxing gloves Bob the Brick he's heard it would you rather have a million quid or a full head of hair for life a wig. I've probably already had a million quid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, have <a> <laughs> I'll have a million and stick a wig on my head. <laughs> Chris, oh, have you uh, got any desire to have a go at other aspects of... Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, I'd love to do the whole shebang, but it'll be... A, yeah, we'll see. Why do you measure your sand with a bucket and not just use a shovel? I can get that. It's more accurate, but I have never seen anyone on dis It's just um, good practice to learn doing it by buckets. I can chuck it in just as quick. Uh, you know it's going to be exactly the right amount every time. Uh, if you have two different people doing a mix, then you say 20 shovels, they'll their shovel is going to be different sizes every time, especially if you're doing brickwork. I know it's not as important on block work, but, you know, Amy chucks one in now. She knows exactly how much water to put in because it's the exact same amount of sand every time and she can just chuck it in and leave it bar last Thursday. That was the weather's fault. The weather's fault. Made my sand wet. Made your sand wet, did it? Knocked me off. Knocked you off. <laughs> Bit. David Cow, the brick mate magnet pad you got. No, it's not available anymore, mate. <clears throat> Shit out of luck if you ain't got one of them now. All right, Shabba, AMP Clifford. There was a car park outside mine the other day. Who was it? It weren't me. <laughs> Do I pay my dad's rent? No. I'm, I, I live here for free. Do I, dad? <laughs> of course I do. Amy, teacher or brickie? Amy, I'm more bothered about you now. You want to be a teacher or a brickie? I want to be a brickie. You want to be a brickie? On price. She wants a brickie on price. Yeah, we're going to go well, on a split. We're going to go on a split. Yeah. Apparently. 80% uh, to, to, to you, 20% to me. <laughs> Fucking hell. I suppose with the dinners you make me, I might do. We'll see. <laughs> Adam Boya, how's your boxing career going? Not very well. I don't box anymore. And I weren't very good at to start with. You won't even spar me. Well, you ain't blown the other ones up. You won't even spar me. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the other ones in? Are you blowing them up or what? I'm reading the comments now. No, you've got to blow these fuckers up so I can bat a fuck at you. Thanks for watching. Question, where did you and Amy meet? <laughs> Changi. <laughs> Is it, I'm only showing what I've learned from other people. So, 
some no one's come up with anything, have they? Everyone learns from someone. You're only passing on knowledge to other people. I don't understand why people get pissed off with people showing something that's already been shown because there's a lot of people that might not know about me and they're learning from you, but everyone learns it from someone. So it's nothing new, is it? It's, I mean, like, for instance, pick and dip. It's not something that I made. It's something that's been around for years and I passed on the, the knowledge of something that I learned and it doesn't make it mine. It doesn't make, make it, you know, not available to pass on to other people. How is anyone going to know if it's, it's not just one bricklayer's website, is it? It's uh, one, brick, uh, one bricklayer's YouTube. It's, it's what life's about, isn't it? It's passing on knowledge. Thoughts on Stu Compton? Uh, can't really give my thoughts on someone I don't know. You can't really judge someone from a video. You only see snippets of a person from a video. Um, so I, I haven't, from what I can see, seems like an all right fella. But you don't know until you actually meet someone, do you? you even when you meet someone and talk to someone, you never know who they really are, do you? So I, I'm not one to judge anyone. Who are you laughing at? I judge you though. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make? Oh yeah, I've got a pair of uh, Callum. I've got a pair of Muck uh, I've never walked worked abroad even though I nearly went to Australia, but didn't bottled it. Uh, best way to learn your brick gauge off by heart when you're not the best with numbers. Um, I mean, brick, brick works just, you can start at 75 and just, I don't know. <laughs> I just know off by heart, just add a hundred and take 25 off. So 75, add a hundred, 175, take off 25, 150, add a hundred, 250, take off. 25 or just keep doing it over and over again it's just like learning the times table you just do it over and over and over and over again someone said what are you getting me for christmas the brick trout fuck all what oh shit you're there <laughs> uh what am i getting amy for christmas I'm gonna put a, brick trowel. a brick trowel i've already got her a brick trowel do you ever go steps done on the travellers. Oh, did you ever get them steps done on that travellers site? No, um, I'm not going to lie. I felt a bit dodgy being there. They <clears throat> they asked me to get it finished and there was no way on this planet that I was going to get it done. Um, he paid me up front and I was working till nearly seven o'clock to try and get it done. And it was still going to take me another two, three hours. And I was a two and a half hour drive home. I rang him up and says, look, mate, I'm... and then, yeah that I really didn't fancy going there again. I'd done, when I counted up what, I've, what I'd done for what I'd been paid, I was probably twice, I'd done it for twice as cheap as what I should have charged in the first place. Um, so I wasn't very impressed with that. So I didn't bother going back. Shout out to Joe Ward and Rebecca Osborne. Love the content. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Knock him out. <laughs> Where did me and Amy meet? Well, I was staying at my dad's. She was staying at her mum's down in the flats below. Walked outside. Snuck in her bedroom and beat her up. <laughs> That's not how it happened. There it is. I got drunk and pushed my way through your front door and jumped on top of you. No, you didn't. <laughs> it was a very romantic setting. Romantic. How we met. Right, remember. moving on anyway. Next comment. Next comment. How old is Amy and you? I am 32. 
two days ago. And Amy's 20. <laughs> Sugar daddy. <laughs> but yeah, I don't look at that, do I? You know what I mean? What was your body count before Amy? What was my body count before? <laughs> None of your fucking business. Uh, how long do you stop for over Christmas? Uh, I'm not. Uh, usually, where I've been working on site, I'll just work up to when the site says you can't, which is usually like twenty third, and then it, I think it's about a week after you go back. I'm not too sure, maybe two. Charlie Reed back. Saying hi from Yorkshire. How long do you stop for Christmas? Uh, saying hi from Yorkshire. All right, Alex. Should make a calorie rate for brick work. Yeah. So basically on Monday, I've got me, Amy, Frank, my sister and, and another young lad. And I'm going to be taking it easy for the next couple of weeks, maybe next couple of months. I'm not too sure. And I'm going to be just sort of supervising and I'll be just setting up profiles and just really... They'll be getting their own muck, doing their own loading out. <clears throat> and I'll just be teaching them all up how to lay, basically. I've, I've been asked uh, to go back to a site, um, you know, the one that I'd done the dodgy plinth on. Um, they've asked me if I could come back after Christmas. Um, th that's an option. But it's always good service over there and they know how I work. They know that I get young apprentices in and they're, they're happy with how I do things over there. You know, some sites you could go to and they'd be a bit funny about having a low young trowels, but they know how I work. And so that might be an option as well after Christmas. So I suppose it would be sort of an academy for them because they're going to be learning. Basically, I'm going to be teaching. Um, I probably won't earn as much because I'm not laying, but um, it's very easy for me to do it that way. Um, it's a lot less physical for me, um, and I can I can really concentrate on teaching when I'm not physically working because trying to physically work hard to cover money and teach people, concentrate on what you're doing, concentrate on what they're doing, and lay and think about everything at once is actually really hard to do. Um, it's not impossible, but it can get very stressful. But when I first started with Frank, uh, Jordan and Jim, and I wanted them all laying all the time, that's exactly what I'd done. I stopped, got them all to load the plot out. Um, I'd go and get the muck and, you know, giving them a few buckets of muck when the muck's right next to me while they was laying. But I won't be doing that this time. I'll be getting them to get their own muck. And I'll literally just set some profiles up and teach them how to run into a line um, and just really keep an eye on everything. So I suppose it will be like a little academy for them. Um, that's how I wanted to build up last time before COVID kicked off because um, where I had Jim, Frank and Jordan running in, I was running in as well. We had another two or three labourers, I can't remember, and we was getting a lot of work done. Um that was my goal for the for my future was to build it up that way. But things happen and you never know what's going to happen. But now I'm trying to do my own thing and I just don't know myself what I'm going to do yet. All right. Anyway, that's a long winded one. Do you think of random stonework? You ever tried it? I've never done stonework. It's never really appealed to me because it, it's something that is slow going and it's not that I couldn't do it. It's just, I like to see things getting done. I'm a bit of a work, work horse. I don't know. I, li I like to get thanks done and I like to see it done. I I'm pretty blo uh, stonework does look nice and I would like to do it just to say I've done it. You know, I've looked into it. I think it's quite a screedy sort of, um, mix i'm not too sure i don't I'd, if i ever 
got offered some work for it, I'd probably accept it and maybe get someone in that really knows what they're doing and work alongside them. Frank never been to college. Yeah, Frank's been to college. Uh, I can't remember if he's done a year or two, but he's. I've just got him his MVQ level two. Um, I did get um, Jordan and Jim their MVQ level twos as well, but on site rather than going to college because honestly, I personally think college is a waste of time. Um, that's, I went to college myself and didn't. I got on site and didn't know a thing. <clears throat> Just be wary of dodgy subbies, Alex Brook. Eggy Will, you're going to vlog your holiday. I am indeed. <laughs> well, yeah, we are, aren't we? Yeah, yeah we're going to we're going to vlog the holiday, but it's not till 2021 in January, so it's a long way away. 2022, sorry. It's it's a long way away yet. Amy might do my nutting before then and I might get rid of our CR Phil. It's <laughs> I'm pretty joking. But I think uh, I'm going to be going, we're, well, we're going to be going on a few holidays in the next year anyway. On the head, Sam. Gosh. <laughs> What's your best make of a bricklayer trowel, Charlie? Um, so my favourite shape is the Spear and Jackson shape, broad heel. I love it. It feels like it's been used for years when you first use it because it's just got the worn down shape to it. Um, but the the best made is definitely W Rose, 100%. What's for dinner? I had a Nando's for dinner. But we're having a roast dinner in a minute as well. I just literally had a and We stopped off and got a Nando's and I'm just about to have a roast dinner. A beef roast dinner. I don't really like eating meat because I did try and go ve vegetarian for a while, but <laughs> didn't last. Elmer Milne. Yeah, I know. I, I hope he does get stuck in this time because, you know, when you're trying to teach someone and they don't turn up, it can get very, very annoying. Shout out to Jake Turnall. Call him a clown. <laughs> How much do bricklayers earn? It varies massively from one, from one end to the other. You know, you could be bricklayer on 180 a day, day work. You could be a bricklayer on 250 a day, day work. Um, you could be a bricklayer that's not very good on price, earning a thousand pound a week, or you could be a good bricklayer earning £2,000 a week, but then you've also got to take in, take in consideration how many times of the year you lose. You know, So it, it's, there's no, you can't, no one can know what a bricklayer earns unless you have like 10 years worth of what you've been paid and then you average it out. But then even then, everyone's going to be completely different. So I don't know why people keep asking about what bricklayers earn. It all really depends on how good you are. Shout out to Susie Ann and Day Davy. Uh, I, if I'm going to do apprenticeships, it will be for from the morning um, onwards. Uh, Harry Ellie. Wait. Uh, yeah, I had the Marshall Town leather handle trowel, but I didn't like it, so I give it to Jim. It was too thick. Oh, just lost where I am. I'm a uh, Jordan the Carp angler. I'm a plasterer and renderer. I want to do some brickwork. Any good tips? Yeah, stick to plastering and rendering. <laughs> you can't just pick it up. It's just, um, 
if if you're gonna attempt any sort of brickwork, you need to set some profiles up. Don't try and build corners. Um, if you can set some profiles up and stick a line on, you'll have half a chance of building something. But if you're going to build the corners, then yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Mark Cro Cro Crossy, Mark Crossy, Crozy, Crossy, vegan here, top man. I wish I could do the same. Well, I probably could, but I can't help it when people around me are always eating meat. Yes, Jordan is like Plank from Lockstock. He is. I didn't actually, I've never seen Lockstock. <laughs> and Jordan shoe me. And I was pissing myself. Thomas Jackson, what's your mort mix? Uh, it just depends what you're doing, really. Um, when I do, when I was working on the subs, uh, the footings with on site over the last couple of weeks, it's been a three and one mix. So in in the mixer, it'll be six sand to two bags of cement. Um, but when we're doing cellcom work, you need uh, six and one for. You don't want it too strong because the uh, it will crack. Basically, it's too strong of a mix for thermalites. Um, it's always it just varies when you do brickwork. It's usually a five and one, uh, maybe a five um, sand, one cement, one lime. <clears throat> Lewis Gikes. Yeah, I do agree. Setting out. Um, people don't realise like how many different points you have to be spot on with to make life easy over the whole build because so many bricklayers make their life hard just by not hitting certain points and being plumb and level in certain points, um, setting out the walls correctly, taking time to set them out, double-checking them. They're, where you're not... Um, laying much when you're setting out people tend to rush setting out um, and you know just going to the wrong side of the line is such a big common mistake with bricklaying um, and you know you build a whole wall to the wrong side of the line and have to take it down you you can kiss your um, profits goodbye basically um, just being consistent and taking your time with the things that need taking time with is is what makes you money in the long run. Um, you know, you know, know, knowing what heights to hit, you know, underside a window, you want to be bang on to gauge. Um, you might, it, well, saying that, if you've got a grind, you have to get it inside the window. Um, I know so many bricklayers who have had to grind um, to get their window in but then they've carried on grinding once they've got to their window reveal and then realised they've got on the next course, they've got to bump up to get to the top of the window to get their lintels on because you've obviously got your certain height for your windows. There's certain points at where you can bump and grind on a house, basically. Um, you know, checking that the house has um, been put in with a laser, you know, knowing what what... If you if you're 20 mil high on one corner, um, 10 mil low on the other, you know you need to know what points you need to start at. What you need to be governed by. There's so many little tricks to getting a house completed properly and sufficiently. But, but yeah, you're right, Lewis. Um, 100. percent Bricks just fall into place when you you're doing it right. <laughs> are Blake's worth the money? Blake's are really good profiles. Um, I don't use them because when I've got young lads who are just 
concentrating on running into a line, they don't check Blake. Blakes need to be checked every four, five courses. You need you need to put your stabilizers on. But then saying that now we've got the top clamps or top clamps from BT. A lot of people that use Blakes are now using the BT top clamps off of their block work, so they don't have to use um, the stabilizers. I, I personally do like the Blakes more than box section, but box section is just easier for an apprentice to be bang on basically because you're buttoned into the profile. You're not so many brickies will use Blake's and push past the line and just not even put their level up it as they go. And um, it, it can cause the corners to be out of plumb. Uh, where are we at? Been a bricky 16 years and I've never used the profile. Never been on site either. Brick yay. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. I I personally I enjoy building corners. I you know, I used to go around just building small corners and having when I do, when I first was doing footings, that's how I first was teaching basically. I'd get a load of young apprentices to load a plot out while I'm building a few little corners and just get them to run in behind me. It's very relaxing building corners, you know. I actually enjoy when I'm teaching as well to build a few corners and then just to let them run it, stick a corner block on and run it in. But you don't need profiles to make money, but you, if you're good at using profiles, then you will make more than someone that doesn't use profiles. But then there's times where you would be quicker just to whack a quick corner up. You shouldn't have to use profiles all the time, but if you're building a full lift, then if you don't use a profile, sometimes I would rather build a corner because it's neater. Um, you tend to get things more spot on when you build it with a level because you're keeping an eye on it. Whereas when you put a profile up, you're so determined just to quickly run it in. Sometimes your profile could be slightly out, only 5, 10 mil. But when you're, when you're fussy about your work, you know, 5, 10 mil with one wall, 5, 10 mil with the other. Before you know it, you've got 20 mil. Um... <laughs> You're right there. Well, haven't you blew the other glove up yet? Because it's hard work. <laughs> uh... Can you just keep me that over? Sorry. Nah. No, your box. Boxers. Me smelly old boxers. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Adam going live. Adam, are you trying to go live for? I'm going, oh yeah, I'm off skis. I'm going to watch Adam go live. See you later. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, Charlie, can I come do a day's graft with you and see what it's really like to graft with you? <laughs> I won't be grafting for very, very hard for a while. But yeah, you're more than welcome to come in. Someone's actually offered me to come in and have a race with them um, for 200 quid. And I laughed about it, if I'm honest. Um, they want me to come up and race them on a garage. And then if I lose, give them 200 quid. <laughs> so I think I'm going to build a garage with them. And then I might even do it for free and give them 200 quid. I think I was born yesterday. Not that I think they beat me anyway, but. <sighs> you do look like a fat cow in that. No, they said, hey, we've got over that big breakfast. Fat cow. <laughs> she didn't even eat most of it. <laughs> yeah, it's all worth it. Uh, Kwasim Ahmed. It's all worth it in the end, mate. What retirement plans, dreams do you have, Charlie? That's too far in the future for me to think, mate. I can't even make my mind up weekly, let alone in when I'm retired. <clears throat> Prize a Prize a Lewis. I'll give you a week's free labour just to just for the crack with you. I would. <laughs> you wouldn't want to come in, but you'd be paid. Best. BT engineering, uh, best BT engineering tool and why? Uh, the one that springs straight to my head would be 
well, there's a few. Um, I love the timber clamp. And I love the dory block. I, and I also love the T-clamps. Probably, I'd say the T-clamps my favourite, if I'm honest. Um, because I can now, if I'm building the external first, I can now um, use, I can set pro internal profiles up so easy, so quickly with a T-clamp and um, a Dean clamp. I love a Dean clamp as well. They've got so many good tools that are, make our life so easy. And, you know, people that are incorporating it into their brickwork are messaging me, um, telling me how much more they're laying, how much easier it is. You know, I had some people, I put a, a video up on Facebook of me setting up a internal blockwork corner um, profile with um, a Dean clamp and a T clamp. And it took me something like, just under a minute and then I was running in and you still get the idiots that are like, Oh, I could have whacked a corner up quicker than that. Are you no good? You can't build a corner. It's not about being able to build a corner. It's being able to just stick a line up and start running in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what do you think we know hoodie anyway? I've got a load of clothes sent to me. I've got some pucker stuff. I'm going to do a review on it um, probably tomorrow, actually. Um, I've got some really, really good stuff. What else have I got up here? Someone sent me a bomber. Uh, they dumped me a bomber. Uh, what is it? A body warmer. Do you reckon? Oh. I'm going to, I'll give him a shout out um, tomorrow. I've got some, I've got some beanie hats, some, uh, what other hats? What's the other one? A snapback. What are you looking for? Boxers. <laughs> UK Night Rider 8cc. Hi, pal. I have a question. Plus, it's been an issue for me too. I got an EQ level two in Brick Lane, but I haven't been able to get a job in Brick Lane as I don't have on site experience. What's the best route? Mm. <sighs> to be honest, you've just got you've just got to keep ringing. You're probably better ringing up a big firm rather than trying to find small gangs because a lot of small gangs don't like taking on newbies. Um, but if you can ring up if a big company, a, um, like for instance <clears throat> MBL. Newton Brickwork Limited is who I subcontract off of. If you rang a uh, subby um, and seen if they had any day workers um, to send you with, that would probably be your best chance to get in your foot through the door. But you'd probably be stuck with doing a lot of labouring jobs for a while. But the thing is, if you prove yourself by always turning up and any little chance you get, to do a bit, make sure you're just enthusiastic. And if once, once someone sees that you're really, you know, hopefully they'll get you on the trail, but it's, it's hard to get your foot through the door if you don't know anyone, but when you do, you've got to really, really try best. At last I've got some Dory blocks. <laughs> I've got loads of them. <laughs> I get sent them all the time. I've got a load of um, Dutch pins, actually, about eight of them that are sent from BT. I might just send them out to some people if anyone's interested in some Dutch pins. I've got quite a few tools, actually, I could probably send out to people, do little competitions, I suppose. I've actually got four Blakes that I never used, brand new. Might sit, might do that as a little comp, I don't know yet. A little comp. Uh, they're the big ones as well, the 2.5 metre ones. I've got four of them, pretty much brand new. Never use them. <laughs> Finny P, do you prefer thermalite blocks or concrete? 
Do you want to answer that? Thermalite. Thermalite. You'd be daft if you like using concretes. Jesus. I, I think concrete blocks are outdated. I don't know why anyone uses them. They're just cheap, nasty shit that ruin your body. They, they, it should be against health and safety to use a heavy concrete block now. Shout out to Lacey. All right, Lacey. Do I want to sell the Dory blocks? Nah. Go on my little mental piece. <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've got about... I've only got three pairs. I've got the long side, and then I've got four, four, four. So I've got six in all, but I only really use two, if I'm honest. If you, I don't know, do they sell the uh, the long sided dory blocks? Do you know? Because um, I don't know if people have realised they're actually better than the normal dories. I think they are anyway. My favourite current trail is the Spear and Jackson Broadhill ten inch, but it feels it's still really nice and small. Um, it feels more like a nine inch. Much better, much better. I, I, I can't use a Philadelphia anymore. I was brought up using, I started off with a 12 inch. That's what I was brought up using. Um, then I went down to 11. Then I wore my 11 down to about nine. And my boss bought me a new 12. And I looked at it, used it and thought, fuck this. And um, I, <laughs> I took an angle grinder to it. And he went nuts at me the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Romel Saint hashtag Amy never meant you were a fat cow you're lovely but you like your food kiss 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 yeah I do like my food she does like her food I don't eat it, okay? she don't she just I yeah and then you just make me eat it well don't make me but uh, concrete blocks are horrible yeah concrete blocks are a load of bollocks Never heard of Randall's. I've never heard of Randall's groundwork. Who's better, you or Stu Crompton? Yeah. Don't know. So that's that's up to other people to decide, isn't it? One pound eighty for a concrete block. Yeah, that's about right. What hair product do I use in my barnet? At this moment in time, absolutely nothing. Um, but if I do use anything, I use uh, got to be glued hairspray. Do I fancy building my own house? Yeah, I do one day. Ben Baker, where's Dave Walkley? I think he's working down near um, Leisure World. There's a site over there, isn't there? Uh, I think he's working down there, mate. What do you prefer, your van now or picking pickup truck? Because I've got a pickup truck. I'm debating on getting a van. Just need some advice. Um, the, the van's good for if I was I, – I got the van because I was picking up a lot of people, but the, uh, the truck, I was picking up a lot of people, but then obviously you can't get all the tools you need in it. I do – I prefer my van for work, 100%. If, you, if you're buying – if you're going to buy a van – if you're going to buy something for work, 100%, it's got to be a van. Um, I bought a pickup truck more because I was showing off. Um, look at me and my pickup truck. Um, but then I soon realized that it was hard work getting gear around. Uh, it wasn't too bad at the time because I was on a site that I thought I was going to be there for a long time. So it wasn't too bad. But as soon as our corona kicked in, I had to start moving site to site. It was a pain in the ass because I've got all my stands, boards, I even have um, scaffold boards moved around as well because I like to put scaffold boards on top of my stands to have my bricks put up onto. Nightmare. So get a van, 100%. Uh, Amy, how are you doing? R Reese Watson wants to know how you're doing. Christy. Christy. Gravy, baby. 
Give him a wave. Come on, show him your, show him your, your jumper. It's a blanket jumper. It's a blanket jumper. You look like... <laughs> yeah, it's a way. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, bless where I am. Does meth cut job time in half? <laughs> no, definitely not. You probably crawl into a ball and hide somewhere. Probably doubles time at work. You ever thought about an MMA fight? <laughs> yeah, uh, I've done a little bit of MMA, nothing. I got kicked and I give up. <laughs> I'm not fighting anymore, Glenn Duffy. Francis looks like an alcoholic, Tom Daly. <laughs> no, no comment. Why is people asking me my... Uh, I've already answered that about ground workers, mate. There's good good ones, bad ones. I don't have a opinion on any trade, just the trader themselves. Only use concrete block here in Ireland. It's because you're fucking Irish. <laughs> no, nah, I'm only joking. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't understand that. I, I wouldn't, I'd be working away somewhere if I had to use concretes all day, every day. Fuck that. James on 60. Any advice for a 16-year-old doing bricklaying, going to college three times a week and working with my dad on site for two days a week? Um, just keep it up, mate. And, uh, you know what they say about working with family. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of it myself, but I've got my sister there and, uh, and my missus. <laughs> you see, and me, yeah, and my dad sometimes. Uh, yeah, you just, you just got to remember your dad knows what he's doing. And even if he doesn't, you still got to just listen to him and get on with it. Don't back chat your dad if he's teaching you something to do. You're there to learn. Just remember he's not your dad. He's your boss at work. And just keep keep it up, mate. Adam, Sunday chat. Adam, you could have done it at a different time, mate. Fucking hell. Wanker. Average on-site price per day, 180s to 220s average. Big companies usually only pay 180s. Um, usually fine to get day work, to get more money for day work. You usually work in a price work gang. Um, so, right. Someone's on price and they're paying out to have bricklayers there. Then you usually get, you can get up to 250 a day, day work. I, I've paid up to 300 pound a day, day work um, to have friends come in on price. Uh, I'm on price, but I want them to work as if they're on price. So that that was what I would pay to some of my mates, um, some 250s. Uh, you know, just depends, really. Being in three and one, being in three and one, no good if one is dragging their feet. I've never thought a three and one works well personally because there's I don't really think that everyone can work at their full speed and potential with one hod carrier a free free bricklayers should at at 100 have two hod carriers one loading out the plots in front and one looking after them and then if one gets far enough in front then they should drop back help join up Make think it just. I don't think a three and one works personally. Uh, I don't even think a two and one's very good. Um, I actually think a three and two is probably the best size gang you can have, if I'm honest. <clears throat> I 
And it's in saying that, actually, three and two is, I'm pretty sure that was the gang size that the other gang was that I was working alongside with, uh, the whores, they're called. And they're a very efficient gang of bricklayers. And they were three top quality brickies. They had a, an apprentice and a hog carrier in front of them. So sometimes the apprentice would be loading out. Sometimes he'd be laying. But they were always, always slashing. And they used to get through the work. Any tips building corners quicker freehand, both blocks and bricks? <clears throat> Again, it's just practice finding out um, how you do it and just repeating it over and over again. And just try and when you try and rush something, it will tend to go wrong. <clears throat> when you take your time, it will be gradually get quicker and quicker. Uh, if you're building corners, you shouldn't be try, trying to build them really quick anyway, in my in my opinion. Um, building corners is when I really want something to look really nice. Um, don't do that. I can hear myself. <laughs> it's like a delayed... It is pretty yeah. Take your first fight with young Francis. I earn 7K a day. Gives his job. <laughs> I earn 7K a year. <clears throat> oh, no. I earn £350 an hour. <laughs> that weren't clickbait. <laughs> right, I'm going to flick through a load. That... <clears throat> Do you have a football sports team? No, I'm, I'm into my boxing. I used to play a lot of football when I was younger. I had Cole U trials when I was younger, but I just, I used to get injured quite a lot. So I stopped playing it. Cheers, Glenn. Vaughn. Construction with Kieran. All right, Kieran. You should, right, anyone in here, go check out his channel. Do you earn a lot more house bashing on site rather than private extensions? Uh, well, if I'm to go by my last year with site bashing and this year with um, domestic, then site bashing 100%. Um, but with site bashing, you just you go to the quality of that site, you know, some and some sites you can be a lot quicker than others, can't you? So with a good it, it's just it really i don't i don't know how any you can't really compare any of it it is literally just down to organization if you're good at organizing your own domestic work then you're probably going to earn more or uh, it's just it's too hard to to what's that is that what have i been on 58 minutes already Did you watch the AJ fight? Yeah, I did watch the AJ fight. He, uh, I thought he boxed quite well. Um, he picked his um, shots well. He knew when to retract and when to go in. And I thought he'd done really well. But I do not think he has a chance against Fury. Have you ever worked on a Taylor Wimpy site? Yeah, I have, yeah. Cheers, Chris Strutter, Strutter, sorry, Geezer. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Tony C. What's that? Hey, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to answer. <laughs> Cheers, Ben. <laughs> can you say hi to my sister come on <laughs> what's her name Tess what Tess Tickle <laughs> come on let's see let's see who comes out with the best shout out
Who's got the best shout out there? What a pegging. Oh, Te that's what is it? Do you have a concrete footing for a cinder block fence? I don't know what pegging is now. What? Pegging is a sexual practice in which a woman performs anal sex on the man by penetrating his anus with a strap on dildo. Ooh, that sounds yummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love a bit of pegging. <laughs> I like D Corks. What do you think of Wales? Never been there, but looks like a very pretty place. Uh, Limbo, not quite got falling for that one, mate. Did you read it? <laughs> I was nearly, I nearly said it. That's naughty. That's a naughty one. I'm not, not approving that one. Where's Dazza? He's gone hiding in his room. He's probably masturbating with his fucking, his vibrator. He's probably watching you. He's probably watching Dad. Definitely masturbating. What? He said, "Don't tell him." Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Mr. <laughs> Should I say that one? Yeah. Mr. Peterfile. I am fucking watching you. Are you <laughs> He's in the other room yeah, watching so this. So are they talking about me? <laughs> he's in the pegging. <laughs> what from you? I brought him up well. <laughs> Amy, you you read out, you go through the shout outs and just shout out one you like the look of. Shout out to Phil McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you must have heard that one. I've never heard that Phil one. McCracken. <laughs> 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 D Corks, take the day off. Fuck me, I took a week off, didn't I? Best levels, Stabila, always and forever. Chris Smith, ever laid porophone blocks? If so, any tips? I haven't ever laid a porophone block, but I would love to because they are so much quicker and efficient than Cellcom blocks. Um, and if you are laying them, instead of using the roller, Dip them in a bucket. Just dip it. <clears throat> Worst site you've worked on? Don't know. I've worked on some pretty shit ones, to be honest. But now, if I go to a site and if I have to build something and I'm not happy with it, I, I just won't do it. <laughs> I'll leave. <laughs> <clears throat> especially with footings, I really can't understand why anyone would go onto a footing that at least hasn't had the islands dug out flat. Because I, I don't mind doing a footing overhand if the um, footings have been dug out. Um, I'm not that desperate for work that I, I'm going to be like a mountain goat twist. It's, so, it's just against still they're going on about health and safety. Why would you go on a footing that isn't been dug out flat? You know, people have been going, oh, your footing's the dreams. I, I, I wouldn't work on anything less. <laughs> really My dad's read that one. Wayne King. Wayne King. Wayne King. <laughs> you are so stupid. Do you ever get the mix wrong? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, I had um, Francis with me on Tuesday, and while he was loading out, I went and done the mix, and I made it too wet because I did, I did, I put in what I'd put in the week before, but didn't realise the sand was soaking. And, uh, yeah, got a, got a tub of piss. So I just made Frank use it while I... 
<laughs> loaded out. <laughs> What's for tea tonight? Well, I've already had a Nando's. I had a double double chicken wrap with two large peri chips and ten wings, and in about an hour, ready. We're gonna have roast dinner, beef, beef. Do you test the mix? What do you mean? Do you mean test it before I tip it out or test it to see what color it comes out when I'm building something new? Scott's P, what, what do you mean, mate? Have you, had, have you had many block walls blown over? Um, not in a long time have I ever had a jack wall blown over because I don't build them first, I build them last. Um, I still use profiles to build them, but I'll build the outside first just to give it that protection of not being blown over so I can build it in one go. But the things that usually get blown over are like two block piers and internals, and it's usually the scaffolders that knock it over or a bit of wind. Um, but I don't... I, I, not, I don't really ever have anything blow over anymore because I know what I can and can't do and get away with. Have I ever had a fallout with a forklift driver? Um, I really try my best to get on well with the forklift driver as soon as I get there because even though they're labouring for you, you're at the mercy of the forklift driver. If he does not like you or you're an arsehole, you might as well just pack your tools and go. But if I have a bad forklift driver, um, I'll know that on a new site within the first day or two, and I won't stay there because <clears throat> you are you're you're, you're earning capacity. Com yeah. Your earning capacity is all down to your forklift driver and your site agent and your foreman. AJ, AJ, shout out to Bendover. Nice one. For strength. Um, it's all been tested. Um, you, your drawing um, that you're building your house to will give you the ratio that they want you to use. <clears throat> so it will be in the legend or the, the specs that they want want it built in uh, but yeah, or you'll be using a silo where it's already pre-made but you, you usually it's just a five and one mix for uh, five sand one one bag of dust cement for brickwork uh, maybe some lime chucked in there or six and one for your cell cons um, five and one for concretes, uh, that's all above ground. Below ground, you want a three and one. A lot of um, a lot of the site that I've just been on, actually, they're all doing uh, a normal gauge of muck. They're not. They're only putting one gate, one one bag of dust into twenty shovels, which is um, for superstructure. They're not actually making a strong enough mix for below ground. Um, when I was doing my mix compared to theirs, mine looked nearly like dark grey, whereas theirs was like a light colour of the sand, uh, which I'm quite surprised no one picks up on because I, I actually used a bit of their muck to finish off some of my brickwork at the end of the day because I couldn't be bothered to go and make it because it was the end of the day. I only had about half hour left, so I just asked for a couple of buckets. I used some of their sand and uh, some of their mix, and I couldn't believe the colour difference where obviously they're just chucking in 20, 20 heaps of sand in and... Uh, a bag of dust, which is not strong enough for below ground. <clears throat> uh, it's all right saying that, but <laughs> go on. Then you ask the questions and I'll answer. Amy's going to ask them. I'll answer. Okay. 
Why did you go to the limit of company? No, 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 don't put me in it. Pros and cons of it, please. Uh, I went to a limited company because my accountants um, basically convinc convinced me that it's better to go limited when you've got people working for you. I'm not really good at that sort of thing. You're best off speaking to an accountant, but it, there is more pros to being limited, but I'm not, I'm, I can never remember why. Hit me. Do you ever dream or fantasize about being an architect? No. Ever worked with a bloke called Dan Gleebles? <laughs> Dr. Chegg. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Do you know who Dan Gleebles is? <laughs> She's not, uh, she ain't reading. This sorry, is why I'm reading, reading them because. Uh, where's the injury you had occurred on site? On site? Uh, I've never actually had an injury on site. Uh, it's all been through sports. Um, my re most recent was uh, my knee when I was wakeboarding. I uh, done a front flip off of um, the loading bay and I landed awkward awkwardly on my knee and I couldn't actually walk for about how long? Two weeks and I'm still struggling with it now. Come on, then, next one. I'm an apprentice. We use jelly buckets to s spread the muck out for the brickies as they. As LA and makes the quick work, what do you think? Also, Jelly buckets, never heard of them. Also love your vids, they've taught me loads, thank you. You're welcome. Come on in. Um, well, some of these aren't ones, they're not actual questions, they're just trying to get me to say <laughs> uh, Yeah, just say them, it's funny. Uh, Come on in, you're worse than me. Mate, how's it going? Have you ever done any? Have you ever done any work abroad? If so, what's your thoughts on it? I'm planning on going to Australia when I finish my apprenticeship. No, I was going to go to Australia. Uh, well, I said I was going to. The thought crossed my mind, and I didn't want to. Uh, just didn't have the balls in the end. But yeah, good luck to you if you do. What else was in that question? He's planning on going to Australia. Good luck to you, mate. Where do you get your steel toe cap flip flops from? <laughs> Which area of Scotland are your family from and have you been up there? Yeah, I've been up Scotland a few times. Uh, nan, my nan's from Glasgow and my granddad is uh, Morton Greenock. Greenock? Greenock. I don't know. How do you say it? I'm not asking you. You ain't got a clue, have you? Greenock. Morton, Mo is it? I don't know. Somewhere about that. How long did it take you to be confident on the line? And how far into your career did you start price work? I just started my apprenticeship. Uh, I was quite lucky. My boss had me running into a line straight away. Um, I can't really remember how long it took, but everyone's different. Um, and price work, I went as a limited company about six years ago, but I'd be, I'd started going on price with other price work gangs. I'd never actually gone on my own, um, but it it never worked because I always felt like I was working harder and doing more than the others that I was working with. So, um, yeah, that's why I went on my own. Started, I just wanted to – I went limited because I wanted to pay people and be my own little company. Do you know what I mean? Which clamps and how long would you recommend for getting started on profiles? Cheers, Which clamps? Um, it, I'd, you want, it depends if what size gang you are. If I'm assuming you're a small gang, um, really, you want four profiles, um, four G clamps, maybe eight. Um, you want the long ones, uh, you want four timber clamps, four Dean clamps, um, two, you want two Dory, Dory blocks, um, four if you can get them. Uh, but from what I hear, BT Engineering 
um, are always out of stock. I spoke to them um, and they're actually, they've got so much going on in Australia, they're not actually getting enough materials to send us stuff over. So that's why it's taken so long because of the coronavirus and everything as well. They're struggling to keep up with demand at the minute. Take that bum flap off, please. I will tonight. It was fucking itching like fuck today wearing them stupid masks. It's a bit shiny, isn't it? Ginger. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Any other jobs that you can do when it's very frosty weather? Load out. <laughs> That's about it. Load out. Do any making good. There's always something to do, but if you're a big gang, then usually you're best off just going home. Or was that a question as in actually doing something completely different? Any I don't know. Any other jobs? I don't know. Cool, I got do us. you rate your transit van, Charlie? Reliable, comfy? Oh, yeah, it's a bollocks. Um, good drive, isn't it? Yeah. Very comfy. You feel very professional in it. <laughs> Not that I am. Getting a wall built, is it better getting a price or day rate? We need a new wall built in Glasgow. So Honestly, if you're getting a new wall built, um, get um, four, three or four different quotes and get it priced because if you get a day worker on it and they ain't got much work in front of them, they will hang that out. And it will probably cost you more than if you got someone just to come and give you a price and do it for you. You know, um, I know bricklayers that have hung, uh, hang, hung a wall out that would take me a day, a week. And uh, it, uh, if I was going to charge day work for a, for a small wall, I'd probably only charge 300 quid for a day's work. Whereas another bricklayer might come in and say day work, 180 pounds a day and take the royal piss basically if you're going to get someone in on day work you need to um get them to tell you how long it's going to take you how long it's going to take them and give you a give you a rough amount of days for them to do it before but if you need to work out how many bricks is in it they need to be laying at least 300 bricks a day if it's a if it's an easy wall, um, it needs to be at least three hundred a day. I've got to go for a Tommy tit. I've seen a bit. How do you just look at Amy for a minute? No, 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 no. Charlie, turn it off. I'm going to the toilet. I'm, this Nando's has gone right through me. <clears throat> Have a look at my chair for a minute. I'm actually going to shit myself. Hang on. Oh my god. Darren, come and speak to them. It's still on the live. No. Charlie's just gone to the loo. Hello. I'm okay. How are you? Jay Lewis? Give your grandma a shout out from Belfast. Give me grandma a shout out from Belfast. Oh, yeah. Belfast. Should we take the camera into the room? Into the. Get Darren on. Darren, they want you! Come on, Darren! I don't think Darren's going to come in. I can hear farts coming from the toilet too. There he's gone and give us a phone. Got a shout out to Chris Peacock. He's going to have to cut that toilet with a knife. He does have to flush it a few times. Yeah, 
Raymond's too shy, yeah. Jesus, that did not hang about. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I'll go back to um, leaving you some questions. Yeah, no, actually, as well, I forgot to say, my other nan, my wee granny, no, that's more Scottish, wasn't it? My other nan's from um, Belfast, if anyone's interested in that. Oh my guts, man. Oh. No, no boxing, no more. Look at the state of my nose already. I can't risk that anymore. Jesus. Do you think Stu boxes around as much as I do? <laughs> I don't know him. I can't. I wouldn't judge him. What's your best tip for working on timber frames? Um, I haven't done a lot of timber, way, uh, timber frame work myself, um, but from past experience, um, what? Hope you wash your hands, someone said. <laughs> no. I've got a sore gut, though. Jesus, that Nando's has gone right through me. Um, put your level, get a six foot level. Put your level up the timber frame and if it ain't too far out, uh, stick to keeping it 100 mil cavity and get, let your brickwork follow it. But if it's too bad, make sure you get the site agent over um, and tell them that the if for you to keep your brickwork upright or plumb, it's going to close or open the cavity up and make sure that you cover your ass and let them know how much it's going to affect your cavity when you stick to the timber frame um, and get something in writing, get your, if you're subbing off of someone, you need to let them know how bad the, if it's any, if it's no good, if, if it's no good, then you need to make sure it's brought up. Don't just build it. Um, if it's good enough, if it's, if it's a, really good bit of timber work you should be able to make um, a top clamp up at 100 mil either way if it's 100 mil cavity and just stick to the to the timber um, but nine times out of t timber framework ain't they don't give a fuck so you just need to cover yourself with that basically that was a quick shit that was quick. That fucking flew out. That fucking hurt and all. Burned. Proper bullshit, was it? Someone said. Next question. They're not really questions anymore. They're just being silly. Can we ask you if you know the no. Do you know a bloke called Scott Chank? <laughs> um, How long have we been on here? I'll have get you bored. Ever work in Northern Ireland? Uh, no, because you all use concrete blocks, didn't you? I'd work anywhere as long as I ain't got to use concrete blocks. Charlie, how did you get so organised about your work? Who was your best mentor? Me. From Colm, Twelfth, Mining. That was just down to my, my personality. Uh, I like, well, unlike my bedroom, um, I know that organisation is a key to making money. So if you want to be good at your job, you've got to be organised. You've got to be on time every day. You've got to have things in place to be efficient. And being organised is something that gets the job done faster. Do you think you'll survive as a bricklayer when their sites close down? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't see why not. I, I have people ring me up for work all the time off site, but it, I, I, at the moment and time, I'm picking and choosing what I want to do. Um, if I was that desperate, then I'd take on, I'd take on more work. But um, with what I'm doing off site, I've got loads of work on site that I can go to. I've got about three or four subcontractors that I could go back to with a drop of a hat. Um, but 
I'm sticking with doing footings because if I take a footing on, then I'm only stuck to that footing for two or three days and I can quite easily go away. Whereas if I start a house, I don't really, you really have to finish your house. But luckily one of my other contractors didn't mind me leaving, but I don't like doing that. I like to finish the house that I'm doing because I've done all the hard work in the first lift um, and the second lift. No, it's just the first lift. But then if you do a good job in the first lift, then the rest of the house is a piece of piss. And that's where you, third, third lifts are where you really make your money if you're any good. Um, so I don't like taking on houses. That's why I'm sticking to footings at the minute. So I can pick and choose. I'm picking and choosing what I want to do outside of site work. A fitness center. Are you doing any gym? Yeah. Plymouth, Plymouth, Flemish. After oh, last time, no. <laughs> no, um, I basically just went off of what was already built. And I tried to change one of the... Um, I tried to change one of the walls that was done and the site agent actually agreed to me just taking disregard to what was built below and it had a couple of straight joints in it. Um, and then I built the pier and I had to take it down. Um, and I never got paid for that in the end either. I'm not, it's not that I don't like doing plinth work. It's just, I'm on site to earn money and you don't get paid enough to do plimps and shit like that. It's, it's a, it's a skilled job, but they don't want to pay the extra for a skilled bricklayer to build it. So I don't like doing stuff like that because some things you have to take your time on. And when I had apprentices it, running in building plimps, I wasn't very impressed with what was getting paid. Will you give me a price for a small extension when I get my plans done from Andy and Wales? Andy and Wales. Yeah, of course, mate. Um, Andy and Wales, if you <coughs> drop me a message... Mystery Gardener, if you drop me a message on either Instagram, Charlie Collison, or Facebook, um, Collison Brickwork, or you could even add my personal if you can't find that. It's Charlie Collison. Just drop me a message and I'll get back to you. Uh, Jay said, will you build me a house? Yeah, show me the money, honey, and I'll come build you it. If Carlsberg did bricklayers, Charlie would probably be the best coming from an ex-bricky. I'll get out of here. One. Make me blush. How much? Really? When is England's cooking channel coming out? <laughs> <laughs> if you could learn any other trade, which would you want to learn? If I could learn any other trade, what would I want to learn? Um, <clears throat> probably chippy. Um, chippy work because roofing, I don't rate very highly to learn. Uh, groundworks, I don't think it's that hard, if I'm honest. Um, I haven't done a lot, but it's not that I couldn't do it. Um, I've seen enough of it to be, a, I've had a go, I had a go in a digger for the first time not so long ago and it is a doddle. Um, obviously the bigger, bigger diggers, there's a bit of skill to it, but these little ones ain't too hard, but there is quite a lot of skill involved with chip, uh, chippy work. Um, I would like to learn a bit of chippy work when I do my own stuff in the future, I'll be, um, paying a chip here to come in and do the work for me, but I will work with him <coughs> and learn as I go. Um, Cause it's something that I, I, I rate highly chippy work. Charlie, please can you do a video on how to set a laser level up and how to use one, please? Yeah, I can do that for you. Um, when I next have to use it, I'll uh, make sure which I will be using probably within the next week and a half i'll be using a laser level so if you're subscribed and you've got your bell notification on then you'll see my videos come up what do you do 
if you take over someone else's work and it's fucked, but the subby docs you do, the subby docs you do, do you kick off or take it on the chin? Uh, I don't. Oh, but the, the subby docs you, do you take it off? Do you take it on the chin or kick off? Let me read that myself. What do you do if you take over someone else's work and it's fucked, but the subby docks you? Do you kick it off? Do you kick off or take it on the chin? So if someone else's work is fucked. Well, you've got so I I literally, if I have to go on someone else's work, I'll go round it first, check it all. Um, one of the first things I do when I go off of someone else's work is I'll put a couple of quick profiles up just on the brickwork and I'll string a line through to make sure that they are not a line layer where they pull the line out. And you end up with um, a hum, a, a belly in the wall. You have to belly it. You have to belly your work to get over theirs. Um, I'll quickly, I'll have a quick couple of checks of someone else's work if they want me to go off of it. Um, and if it's that bad, I just won't touch it. Um, or if they want to pay me day work rate, which they don't like paying my day work rate. <clears throat> then I wouldn't bother. Um, if you're desperate for work, then they're going to take the piss out of you. So, yeah, I, I personally wouldn't go off for shit work. Saying that, I always do when I, <laughs> when I go off people's footings in their shit, but it's easy to get over a shit footing. But if, you've, if someone's built the first lift, had all the cream out of the lift, and then left it in a state to get over on the next lift, then you're going to lose money and it's shit. Never take on second lifts. Never take on second lifts or fourth because someone else has come in and had the cream out of it and fucked off. How much do builders five beds attached? How, how big's a piece of string? How long's a piece of string? How big is it? I don't know. Uh, do, I, I don't, a, a rule of thumb for a building a home is. However much it would sell for, it usually costs half the price to build it, roughly, if you guess it like that. I work in a gang with one real top rookie and one who's okay, but I feel I'm doing more than the okay one. What would you do? Worry about yourself. Um, if you're there for a, the long run, then say something. I, I don't know. Do you, are you getting paid less? Are, are you an apprentice? What? I, I don't understand what, what, you, what you want me to say to that. When are you going to get a new pad? And that don't look great with the money you get. What's a pad? A pad, a home. I, I'm not I'm not material. I don't need to have a big house to feel happy. It's the people that I have around me that make me happy. I had a nice, lovely home, which was costing an arm and a leg, and I wasn't happy. Um, I, I, my rent is very, as low as a rent can be. Um, I'm happy. I don't need glimmer and glamour of a home to be happy. Um, maybe one day I'll build my own house and it will be beautiful, but I'm not paying top money for no, for just to sleep in a bed. Basically that's what you're paying for uh, something to keep you warm and to sleep in and to eat. Uh, and I don't personally at this moment in my life, feel the need to pay out a lot of money for that. Um, I'm quite happy with where I am, who I'm with. It's not what I'm living in that makes me happy. It's who I'm with. Um, and that's, you can't put a price on that. Next one. Ever built a lift shaft? A lift shaft? shaft yeah, I have. Um, always have one plum. Um, so always have one side to be always plumb from and make sure you're always checking your openings. Um, even if the side that you're plumbing from is slightly out, you want to make sure your, your opening size doesn't close. You've got, got to be really quite good to build a lift shaft. <clears throat> um, is five beds attached a good thing to do for Five by three. Five by three. It's five by three meters too small of an extension for you to build. That's the person in Wales. 
Uh, I'd honestly, I'd have to have a look at it. If I had to stay out there, then I, I'd just have to just just message me, mate, and uh, we'll have a little chat. Why don't you ever finish your house? Why don't I ever finish a house? For instance, what do you mean? Um, I've been on a big site that I was finishing house after house. It's a bit different with site work. You can get pulled off and put on someone else's work. You can get put to another site. Um, it, site work's a bit different. I haven't not, I've finished um, Kieran's extension. I'm about to finish his house in the next couple of weeks. There was one job that I didn't finish because um, I was starting my own work and I didn't go on to the next lifts because I wanted to go and do my own thing. So I spoke to the subcontractor about it and he was happy to put another gang on my work. T -clamps, clamps, they're from BT Engineering and use code Charlie for a 10% discount when they have them in stock. I don't know when they'll have them in stock though. Fury is too good. He, I, I'll be very shocked if AJ beats Fury. I'll be very shocked. But then you never know, do you? Um, AJ looked quite quite good tonight, but I still don't rate him compared to Fury. Would you ever work for Pat Keys again? Amy. Amy, oh. you fell for that one. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... When are you out for the next Charlie Boy? When am I out clubbing? Mm, when do you want to go out clubbing? <laughs> I'm not reading any more comments with names in. <laughs> uh... <laughs> She's having to check. She's not reading anything out now. Private work pays ten pounds more than site work. Why do you stay on site? Uh, I've only just recently started doing my own stuff, and and. And if I'm honest, it's not my own stuff. I'm working for a builder at the minute. It's not my own person. I've had a couple of clients come to me to build their home, but just do their brickwork, which will be my next step step to getting paid more for, for my work. Um, but I've always been a site worker and I've never got myself out there. <clears throat> so... This is basically a new step for me, um, doing my own work, getting my own little T-shirts made up and um, all that sort of thing. So, yeah, I, I know that um, doing your own thing can pay a lot more from what I've heard. But um, you, you can't beat a well-run a well run site with square box houses. There's some really good earners out there on site and it will be consistent for years where did you get your squat boards from uh i got mine off ebay um gator back muck boards one of my favorite things when they're kept clean um especially in the summer you got to make sure they're kept clean though when you get people like you dad who don't clean it properly if you're still watching Never built a well. Would you ever move up north, do you think? Uh, no. It's a bit cold, isn't it? Would you and Stu work on a project together? Yeah, I'd work with Stu. Show him how it's done. If you're watching, Stu, I know you're watching, son. Amy, show your face. No, no, no. Not today. She ain't got her makeup on. North from London and just started my own brickwork company up here. Oh. Charlie is your sister single. <laughs> she don't. Is that a bloke? His name is Kilt. Yeah. Kilt. <laughs> my sister don't like men. If you catch my drift. What kind of work boots are your favourite? Uh, I do like slide-ons, um, but D-Waltz, they're only boots, aren't they? Do you 
Oh, uh, the shoe. What are they? Oh, there is some really nice ones actually I used to wear, but I don't buy them anymore. I can't remember what they're called. Go on. Do you prefer foundation bricklaying or upper levels? Um, I prefer doing the whole thing myself because I like going off my own foundations. Um, because I know it's all been set out right. <clears throat> uh, but if I had to choose between doing either, it would be supers because overall you're not bent over as much. Um, it's, they're good earners, footings, if you if you know what you're doing, but they're hard graft. Um, but, but if you get the right plots of houses to build, then supers are a much better earners than footings but there's a lot more that can go wrong so unless you know what you're doing then you're best sticking to um footings um you find that a lot of the a lot of brickies who aren't really that good that go on price tend to stick to doing footings because they don't have a scooby how to do houses um but they you get some gangs that earn some good money in the uh, footings, even though their knowledge isn't that great. Um, but you'd stick them on a house and they'd struggle. Where are you from? Where am I from? Uh, Colchester. Born and bred. Hi, Charlie. I'm 35 years old. Is it too late to start bricklaying? It's never too late to start bricklaying. It's whether you can take the pay cut um because you'll be on minimum wage um maybe maybe less i'm not too sure but you're probably looking at 60 pounds a day if you can take that then yeah and it's never too late to learn especially if you're eager to learn where did you get amy from uh <laughs> <laughs> a founder in a ditch <laughs> Someone is adamant because he keeps doing this comment because I keep avoiding it. But I'm gonna ask her, Are you two getting married? No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Do you watch any other Brick Players YouTube? Uh, yeah, I watch, um, I watch a bit of that Derby Brickwork at the minute because they're making quite a few good little videos. I watch a bit of Changi every now and then. Um, at Blue Moon, I watch uh, a bit of Stu Compton. I don't mind a bit of Steve and Alex every now and then. Um, I did like, I really liked Rodians for a while, um, but it's just like anything, it just gets a bit boring after a while. There's only so much you can produce as a bricklayer for content, you know, mine must get boring after a while for some people. And I can understand why people want different stuff all the time, but there's only so much that we can do really um, with the time we have. So, yeah. I'm going to whisper this just in case it's meant to be heard. Um, Charlie, you said you were going to buy yourself any stop socks. Is that meant to say anything, or is that just actual socks? <laughs> uh, socks. Skins. Oh, uh, the uh, thingy skins. Uh, uh, seal skin. I can't remember what they're called. Seal skin. Seal. Seal skin. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, I seal. Like I, uh, I did order some, but they haven't turned up. Have you got a hammer for? Hmm? Have you got a hammer for? Thor is in T H O R or? No, it's a number for. Have you got a hammer for? I've asked that a couple of times. <sighs> What's your day rate? 250? Uh, 280 day work, but I don't like working on day work because I lose money. Are ever far out when engineers set them out? When engineers, do you find the pins are ever far out when engineers set them out? 
Um, I've only ever, when I do footings, I'm not going to lie. I do just go to them most of the time, uh, especially on site. On site, I will just go to them. And I know everyone says check them, but it is not our job to check the engineers, uh, the thingies, pins. It's their job to put them in with their staff and then them to check it. We don't get paid as bricklayers to check their pins. Um, so, yeah. What was the question again? Do I check them? Do you find the pins are ever far out? Uh, no. Only one time I've built a wall when it's been out. <laughs> are you teaching me to build? Yeah, Monday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. They're all, they're all going to be building, all of them. I'm going to be setting profiles up for them and they're going to be running in. And I'm going to try and record teaching for the next week just to change up my content a little bit. No. Have you ever tried battery operated socks? No. Good. Right. I am getting hungry. It's been a pleasure. Wheat and bread. <laughs> it's a bit late, mate. I'm off skis. Give someone a. Oh. What? That's what I was about to say. What? It's a shout out to Wheat and Bread. Oh. It's your birthday. Is it really? Happy birthday, Wheat and Wheat and Bread. Happy birthday, buddy. Hope you ain't getting drunk tonight at work tomorrow. Do I have a penalty clause if I don't finish a house? No. Uh, that's, that's all down to the contractor you're working for. I think Dennis is ready. Yeah. Lee Jackson. All right, Lee. Do you play darts with Amy all the time? Sean, Marky, Charlie. Out of town, Robin, Laters. See you later, everyone. Quick question. Be quick. Come on, hurry up. Mofskis. Will you bring back Jordan? That's what you said. Huh? You said, will you bring back Jordan? That's no. No. <laughs> I'm going over to fucking um, Adam's eyes. He, apparently, he's got a. Let's go and have a. Let's all go over to Adam's eyes. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Let's go and annoy him for a minute. 